Hey, welcome to Google Guru. This video will cover the basics of Google Presentation. I'm sure most of you use Presentation quite often, so I just want to cover the basic features available to you. I've already created this presentation. I did this from my drive by clicking on the Create button and selecting Presentation. I've started a few slides already. If we go to my second slide, this is my agenda. I've already added text to this text box. So let's go over how to add animations and transitions to your slides. From here, you'll click on transition right next to theme. As you can see right now, I have no transitions applied to my slides. To choose one, click on the drop down. I'm gonna select fade. You can choose the duration of your transition. I'm gonna do medium. And then you can decide if you want it to apply it to just this particular slide or all your slides. I'm going to apply this to all my slides by clicking on this button. Now to add animations, you can click on your text box and then click add animation. I'll choose fly in. Next, you can choose how you want to start your animation. It can be on click, after previous, or with previous. I'm going to leave it on click. The animation will naturally happen for everything in the text box at once when I click. However, to make this happen for each paragraph in the text box, check by paragraph. And again, you can choose the duration. I'll do medium. Now let's see how this looks by clicking on play. So it fades in. I click once. I click again. And then my last click. Alright, so that looks good to me. So I can hit that. So next, let's see what it would look like if you have multiple text boxes in your slide. So I'm going to go to my next slide and it's identical, except this time each of these texts are in their own separate box. So I'll click on my first text box and I'll click add animation. This time I want it to zoom out. I'll leave everything else the same. I'll click on my next text box. I'll add an animation. I'll pick spin. And then I'll choose my last text box, add animation, and I'll leave it at fade in. So to see what this looks like, let's hit play. So it fades in, one click, it zooms out, my second click, it'll spin, and I click my last time, and it fades in. So that looks good, then I'll click stop. Let's go to our next slide. I've created a flowchart by inserting shapes. You can insert them by clicking on shapes or you can go to insert shapes and then choose what you want. I want to add a second arrow, so I'll go ahead and choose that. Adding animations to your shapes is the exact same process, so I'm going to quickly do this for the three shapes and then show you what that would look like. So it fades in, I click once, it'll fly out, again it fades, and my last time it spins. So obviously for this type of chart, you probably wouldn't have the animation set up like this, but I just wanted to show you all the different ones available to you. So let's click stop. Now let's add a slide. You can add a slide by clicking on this plus button, and you can also click on this arrow button and choose the layout of the new slide. So I want to do title only. I'll name this slide. Let's add an image to the slide. You can click on the image button right here, or you can go to insert and then image. There's multiple ways to insert an image. You can drag and drop it from your desktop, you can add it by URL, you can look through your drive, and you can also search Google. I'm going to insert an image that's in my drive, and I recently used it, so I'll click on Recent. This is the image I want to insert, so I'll check it and then hit Select. So I'll just resize it. So this looks good to me. So I'm going to add another slide. So I'll add a title to this slide. Now let's add a video. We'll click on insert video. So here you can search for your video on YouTube or paste your URL. I'm going to search for a video on YouTube. Alright, so I found the video I want to add. So I'll click on that and then I'll hit select. So now my video is inserted. So once I'm in the presentation mode, a play button will appear. So let's add another slide. I'll add some text. So for this slide, I want to add a table. So what I can do is I can click insert table and then I can choose the number of rows and columns I want. I'm going to do two by four and then I'll just add my text. All right, so I just added some text to my table. Let's go back up to the agenda slide for a second. A really cool feature in presentation is that you can link your text to slides within your presentation. So within my text box, I'm going to choose Guru logo and then I'm going to click on insert link. So you can link this text to a web address, an email address, or a slide. I'm going to click on slide 
it gives you the option to do the next slide, previous slide, and so forth. But I'm going to click on the specific slide so I know exactly which one I'm choosing. So my logo, I want to link that to the specific slide, which is slide 5. And then I'll click OK. So now my text is linked to slide 5. This is a good feature if you're working with other people. They can quickly click on the link and go straight to the slide. Since we're talking about collaboration, a great thing about presentation is the amount of collaboration you can actually do with others. So to share this presentation, I can just click on share. Right now it's private and I'm the only one who has access to view it. I'm going to invite a coworker. I'm going to give her access to edit it and then I'll click share and save. I get this warning telling me that this email address is outside my organization, but I work with her, so I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Since I just shared this document with a coworker, I can tell that she's actually in this document right now by seeing her profile right here. A great feature is the ability to chat with someone in presentation, so I'm going to go ahead and chat with her. So I'll click on the chat icon and I can type a message. So she just responded. So right now we're having a conversation within presentation and it's just a great way to communicate with each other quickly. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this conversation so I can continue working. The chat feature available in presentation is really nice. Another way you can collaborate with others is by inserting a comment. So to do this, you would just click on insert comment and you could just say, and then you could just comment. Adding a comment to a slide or a particular text is nice because it allows others to see what you're talking about and you guys can collaborate on that. I know when I'm working on a presentation, I like to add notes in the notes section. So I have a note here and I have notes throughout my slides. So when I want to present this, there's a way I can view the, the notes while I'm actually getting my presentation. So if you go to present and click on this drop down menu, present with speaker notes, I'll click on that. In this view, you can see your speaker notes, the slide you're currently on, and the next one. You can also see how long you've been on a particular slide. So I'm just going to go ahead and exit this view. So this was just a general overview of presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the section below the video or ask us on Google+. Thanks!